Hi, I'm Bart Hansen, the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific Time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. Hey, so um, I played this, uh, I'm playing in a 2-5 game. Okay. At a 1,000 cap. Okay. So I'm in under, I'm in the small blind with ace, queen of spades. Okay. And we're playing, in, we're in a straddle pot. So the action starts with UTG plus one. He limps. The okay. main villain limps. Okay. There's two more limps in main position. Mm -hmm. And then it, co it comes back to me and I make a 90. The straddle okay. folds. UTG plus one folds. And the main villain, he calls 90 and the rest folds. Okay, so, UT so, so it's a straddle pot and UTG one limp calls your 90 bet, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, no, so uh, UTG plus one limps and then right. UTG plus two, the main villain limps also. Oh, so it's UTG plus two is the one that calls. Correct. Okay, got it. So what, call, limp over limp and the guy, the first over limper calls. Yes. Okay. So uh, pre so pre flop we have we we already have two hundred and twenty five. Okay. Um, the flop comes nine of clubs, ten of clubs, and six of hearts. Okay. And uh, I've already been battling with this main villain for a, a while already for like five hours. We've been going at it against each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, when they comes to this flop and I completely missed, I still decided to uh, bet. I bet one fifty. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that bet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are you getting to fold here? I mean, you've got the best ace high, and uh, the board is really textured. You don't really have draws at all. I mean, you can't just auto C bet every single board, especially right, for right. this sizing. So, I would check here. I mean, I, I can rep over pairs. I mean, I guess, but are you going to blindly barrel? I mean, you're hoping for what? A blank card below a five? on the turn, and then you're hoping that he folds. I mean, a lot of times this board's going to connect with pair plus straight draws where he's going to call the turn anyways, too. But but what kind of hands does he just overcall and then calls 90 and defends $90? I mean, I guess you could make a case that it could be a fair amount of pairs and stuff, but I, I do see people do this with pseudo broadways and things like that. Um, I mean, betting here to get somebody off of deuces or threes, I, I mean, I guess, but I just... I, I feel like this bet is a little bit optimistic. Okay. I I also I agree once I thought back about the hand, I agree with what you said. Mm -hmm. But um okay, as played, um the turn is a king of diamonds. So he calls, right? Yeah, he calls. Yeah. Okay. So the turn is the king of diamonds. I decided to bet nine uh three hundred. Yeah, this one's sort of interesting here on the turn. I mean, the pot is uh, 525. You pick up a yep. gutter here to a queen. Again. To a jack. I, or excuse me. Yeah, a gutter to a jack. I, I To be perfectly honest with you, my gut reaction here is that I would actually delay double barrel here. And, and for a number of reasons, because first of all, he does have some king axes and stuff too in his range that would might peel flop like king jack, king queen. Um, okay. obviously queen jack comes into play. You do have a queen in your hand, but I like this spot to check. Like you're trying to check because you're scared of queen jack. And then if the guy checks behind and the river's a blank, you can throw a delayed double barrel and even sometimes a large bet here, because if he does have pair plus straight draws, he still might call turn, but it will go check, check, and you can just bluff him on a clean run out at the end. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times here, he still might call. And then what are you just going to blindly triple barrel? Right. So you bet 300. Yep. Okay. And he, call he thinks a little bit and he calls. So now all of a sudden the pot is like 1100, right? Yep. 1125. Okay. And uh, so he covers me and I started with around uh, 1350. So it's 13, 1350 effective. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so the river is a blank. It's a two of spades. See, this is where I would have liked to have gone, had it gone check, check on turn. Right. And, and, and the then... thing is, is that if you if you check the turn, the guy bets, you just fold. You know what I mean? Like you just check fold turn. If it goes check, check on turn, now you can bet a clean run mm -hmm. out. You get a reverse free card where you can catch an ace or a queen or a jack. Right. 
and right. uh, you might be able to barrel a blank run out like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, the river comes the two of spades. Yep. And uh, as played, I I actually decided to shove for eight hundred. Okay. Uh, uh, so my question is, um, as played up until the river, what would you have done? You mean like at the river? You mean? Yeah, at the river. Would you shove? Or um, would you just check? Because I'm at the bottom I don't know. of my range. I don't. Yeah, but I don't. Bottom of your range doesn't mean that you always have to bluff, though. I mean, we've talked about that right, before. Right. I, uh -huh. I, I feel like you might. Uh, I, I feel like you might be able to get him off of what you're trying to get him off of with a smaller bet. Uh, to be honest with you. Like, if he has a king and he's just going to call, he turned the nuts or he's got, like, kings up or something like that. Or, he, you know, you, usually you would probably hear from him if he flops something big on the turn. But mm -hmm. if you think he's somewhat weak with pair plus straight draws, I feel like you yeah. could probably go four or 500 here and it would still get the job done. Okay. So what happened? Um, so um, he tanks... Um, I called a clock on him. Yeah. And then uh, he decides. Once I call a clock, he just folds. Okay, so you never got to see what he had. I never. Nope. Yeah. But uh, I was just wondering if um, bluffing in this spot is uh, profitable. I mean, I would say that you probably probably bluffing in this spot if you get like this is profitable. But I don't like the line uh, of the whole hand. I, I do. I, I I like a turn check bluff river. And uh, yeah, I probably I agree. wouldn't be. I probably wouldn't be betting the flop really all that much with this texture. Okay. Okay? All right. Thanks for the call. Hey, guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button, and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out CrushLivePoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA100. Click on the link right there.